Hey guys, welcome to my channel again. Mr. Nova here. Well Free Fire is a unique fun and addictive game. One of my favorite games too. It has good graphics, but it also needs some cool features which will take the gamma play to the next level. Who knows maybe we can see these features in future because Free Fire gets developed day by day. So in this video we are going to see about 13 things that should be added in Free Fire. Let's check it out. Doors, one of the missing features in Free Fire is we can't see the doors in houses. Doors are the fun part in every game. It help us to know the enemy's arrival. You can hear them when they enter the building. Even when you enter the houses to loot, you can close the doors to protect yourself from other enemy players. Peak and fire, peak and fire. Controls are the best strategy used in a battle royal game which gives you a high probability of killing enemies easily. These controls keep you less visible from enemies. And you can easily attack them behind the cover. Much helpful for attackers in Free Fire. Hope Free Fire will bring this feature soon. Parker, Parker Movements is a cool feature that should be added in Free Fire. Which can be used for running through the obstacles and enemies as efficiently from one place to another. Parker Movements include climbing the ledges and doors in the house. Imagine if Free Fire brings this feature nice, is it? Dot 6x and 8x scope. Even though 6x and 8x scopes are available in Free Fire, they are fixed only in OM, M82B, KAR98K, so Free Fire should make the scopes to fix with other powerized guns like assault rifles. And also make the scopes to be available in every part of the island. It will be useful for snipers and attackers in Free Fire. Run and fire, another missing feature in free fire is we can't shoot the enemies while running. It could be fun and realistic if we shoot the enemies while running. Like other battle royal games it should be added in free fire. Loadout. Loadouts in Clash Squad or Deathmatch should be added in Free Fire. Loadouts are helpful in customizing and modifying a wide range of weapons by players with exclusive attachments and skins. You can choose your own weapon and upgrade to max level and show your rage. It will be fun if it is added in Free Fire Deathmatches and Clash Squads. Molotov. Molotov is a throwable weapon, which creates an area of fire on the ground where they impact. Players who pass through this area will be set aflame and gives constant damage to the enemies. It can be used offensively and defensively and also to escape from the sight of enemies. Weather, this is an optional feature. But if Garena brings this 
feature it will be awesome. Imagine if Bermuda were purgatory filled with Mr. Rain. Nice is it? Shooting from vehicle. You can drive a vehicle with your friends from one place to another. In Free Fire. Even though you can kill the enemy by hitting them from the vehicle with max speed. But you can't free aim or shoot the enemies out of your vehicle. This feature helps. If you can defend yourself or attack the enemy when you are passing the enemy in free fire. So you don't need to stop the vehicle and shoot the enemies. chat in game, even. Though Free Fire got an inbuilt voice chat system. We can chat by text with others. If you are playing solo or with your friends then it doesn't matter. But if you play with random global players then this text chat system will be useful. And will make your communication with random players easy. Ragdoll. Ragdoll movements in Free Fire should be increased. The ragdoll movements in the game are good but it can be better. Ragdoll. Movements include changes in running and walking style with cool animations. Hope Garena. Will increase the ragdoll movements in future. Underdive Stealth Swim, sometimes a player needs to cross the river if he missed the bridge. In that case, if an enemy team is nearby then the player needs to be submerged underwater to cross the river. Or if an enemy tries to kill you in the water then this feature will be helpful to escape from the enemy. It will be useful for campers and stealth players. vehicle physics, as I already said the movements and physics are good but it can be better. Improved vehicle physics will make the player's gamma play more fun in game. That's it guys. These are my thoughts about adding these features in the game. Maybe Garena will increase the features in Free Fire in future. Hope you like this video. Like, share and subscribe. I will meet you in the next video until then see ya.